Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Mile High Huddle SI. I am your host, Kim Becker, joined by Chad Jensen. Chad, week three, the Denver Broncos are hosting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which means Tom Brady is coming to Mile High Country. Now, Tom Brady has a losing record when he plays these Denver Broncos at their home. How are these Broncos going to pull out a victory against the Buccaneers and make sure that Tom Brady keeps that losing record alive? Well, first and foremost, and it's not going to be easy, but the Denver Broncos are going to have to establish that running game and get Melvin Gordon going. They don't know yet if they're going to have Philip Lindsay back for week three, but Melvin Gordon's got to be that tip of the spear. And then also with Jeff Driscoll, the stopgap starter, you know, work some RPO action into this game plan if you're Pat Shermer, because he was a phenomenal athlete as a high school recruit and signing with Florida and the whole nine years. This is a guy that was viewed as basically Tim Tebow light. He's an athlete. He has that mobility. He has some strength. He's got a little explosion to him when he gets out there and starts running on the edges. So if I'm the Denver Broncos, I'm working as best I can to loosen up those edges so they can't tee off on Driscoll like they did in Pittsburgh last week by establishing that run game, not just with Gordon, but with a little RPO action, get them thinking a little bit. And then also the Broncos' number two point here is they have to shade some help toward beleaguered third-round rookie cornerback Michael Ojemudi, who got torched. Last week, not only did he give up two touchdowns, one of them was an 80 plus yarder, but he also dropped an interception in the end zone that was just a face palm type of moment. And just like Ben Roethlisberger last week, Tom Brady is as established a veteran as it gets. He recognizes the chink in the armor. He recognizes the hole in the boat when it comes to his opponent. And he's going to be going after the rookie corners, especially Michael Ojemudia out on the edge. So that means Vic Fangio and that uh, Broncos defense is going to have to figure out how to help and shade him, whether that's putting a little Justin Simmons over there and just not letting him run after Chris Godwin, who's just a, a speed demon. Let Bryce Callahan run after, uh, run after Godwin and put Michael Ojemudi on Mike Evans, which is still a very stiff task, but you got to find a way to protect Michael Ojemudi. And then lastly, this is just one of those games that sounds cliche. They got to win the turnover differential. They got to be the team that gives the ball up the least. And if they can walk that razor's edge, as far as the turnover margin being slim, the margin for error being slim against a, uh, any team quarterbacked by Tom Brady, they do have a snowball's chance in H-E double hockey sticks of defying the odds and winning at home as home dogs. Well, there you have it. Three keys to a Broncos victory against the Buccaneers here at week three. Chad, thanks so much for the insight. We will see you on the other side.